Hello fellow stars, my name is Video James, and today we're going to be looking at how to use Starmie. Now, I will admit, water types not one of the most beloved types in Pokemon. In fact, it and Fairy are probably among the most hated, as well as Steel, because Steel just resists God everything. I think when I went to check the Steel weaknesses the other day, I think I saw it resists six different types on its own, with nothing else. Which is ridiculous, and then a lot of the types that Steel gets paired with don't really get a weakness to what Steel's weak to. So, it kind of doesn't get rid of any weaknesses. Regardless, today we're going to be looking at Starmie, and Starmie is actually a very nice Pokemon. That Starmie's got a lot of stuff going for it, and it can be used in a lot of different situations. So we see when we're looking at it, we got the Water Psychic type, meaning we are going to be getting the weaknesses to Dark, Bug, uh, Grass, Electric, and Ghost. So we are going to be getting a decent bit of damage on Starmie if we run up against something that's going to be trying to special or physical sweep us. But then we come to the abilities, we see we have Illuminate, which raises the likelihood of meeting wild Pokemon, meaning it's got almost no battle application. We've got Natural Cure, which a lot of people run on Chansey, because it's just aggravating to run that on a Chansey. That the Pokemon status, i.e. Burn, Poison, Sleep, Paralyze, yada yada yada, is healed when the Pokemon's withdrawn from the battle. So say you manage to get the 10% Ice Beam off of my Chansey, which, by the way, has been happening way too much. Um, you actually swap out the Chansey, and that Freeze should heal. I'm not salty at all. No, of course I'm not salty. And then we have Starmie's hidden ability, which is actually Analytic, which means attack power increases by 30% if Starmie's the last Pokemon to move this turn. Now, that actually has a very useful application, which I will show you later. Base stats, we see we actually have a 520 total that we got 85 in both defenses, surprisingly, so it's viable as a tank-ish Pokemon. We got 60 in the HP, we got 75 in the attack, we got 100 in the special attack, and we got 115 in the speed. So, Starmie gonna be a decent special attack sweeper, gonna be possibly a decent tanker, too. First set, we see we have a Choice Scarf Starmie. Of course there was a Choice Scarf Starmie. You should have seen this coming with a Pokemon with this high speed. So we've got Choice Scarf with Natural Cure, and then we have Scald, Dazzling Gleam, Ice Beam, and Trick with the max out special attack and speed with the modest nature. Now, I will admit you could run Psy Shock on this. I was debating whether or not to run Psy Shock as opposed to Dazzling Gleam, but I feel like in the current sort of situation, Dazzling Gleam can also hold a candle to Psy Shock. Kendall, will you shut up for five seconds? Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, Kindle, the Dazzling Gleam can actually hold a candle to Psy Shock in a lot of different areas. That, with Dazzling Gleam, you can kind of take out your Dark Weakness, as well as a couple other weaknesses. And with Psy Shock, you would only really be able to hit Fighting Types and other stuff that's weak to Psychic, but you wouldn't really be able to take out the thing you're wanting to get rid of, which is a Dark Type. And then we got Scald, that Scald, that 80 base power move, Water type getting the stab, plus that chance to burn means we are going to be cutting down our opponent's attack if we get the burn off, so we could become decently tanky in our defense if we do manage to get that burn first turn, and we could cut them down to where they're not really doing much damage. That with 206 and 207 in each defense, we're not really going to be taking that much damage if we can get the burn cut down. And then we got Ice Beam there, just to take care of stuff like Flying Types, Grass Types, Ground Types, that basically anything that Ice Beam hurts, we got Starmie, we got a good special attack, we can hit it with the Ice Beam. And then we got Trick there to kind of just lock our opponent that we got Trick, if our opponent is something like a Ferrothorn, we Trick them into the Choice Scarf, they get locked, so we can't really fail against a Ferrothorn because it has to use one move, meaning it's either dead or gonna die. Now you could also run this with the Choice Specs variant, in which you take out the Scarf and run the Specs, and you put on a Timid Nature. But I do kind of like the Choice Scarf a little better, just because you kind of get more use out of Starmie that way, that you get more use of the higher speed. But either way you could run it, and it would still work very well. What we have is actually a Life Orb set. So we got Life Orb with Natural Cure, we have Hydro Pump, Dazzling Gleam, Ice Beam, and Rapid Spin with the max out special attack and speed with the timid nature this time. Now the reason for having timid on this set is because we're running the life orb. So if you don't know, life orb times is the attack of any uh, move used by a holder of a life orb by 1.33. So 
all our moves are basically going to be getting a boost from that life orb, but we're going to be cutting our attack down a small bit. Or, attack. HP down a small bit. So, if you're worried about the HP, you could take off, I'd say, Dazzling Gleam and run Recover. Or you could take off Rapid Spin and run Recover. But with this set, we basically got Hydro Pump here. That Hydro Pump, we can go for that massive damage off of it, and we can just do absolute boatloads of damage to anything that's going to want to not take a Hydro Pump. And anything that could take a Hydro Pump, we could probably two slap, except for a Frothorn. We got Dazzling Gleam, again, Dazzling Gleam or Psy Shock, whichever one you prefer. Sometimes I feel like Starmie can run better with Dazzling Gleam. We got Ice Beam, again, coverage, the grass, ground, flying, all that good stuff. And then we have Rapid Spin. Now, Rapid Spin is there because, mainly because of its utility, but I put Rapid Spin on this set because of the meta. So, if you don't know, the meta lately is basically, okay... Send in our Landorus, get off the Stealth Rocks, send in our Frothorn, spike, spike, spikes. Send in the Leech Seed off the Frothorn, and then just swap into something. So, basically, the meta kind of revolves around setup, which I find a bit annoying. Especially when I see people running, like, setup and defog at the exact same time. Because it's kind of like a counteraction to their own strategy. Like, really? You're gonna shut yourself down like that? But, running Rapid Spin on Starmie is actually very viable. Because Spikes and Stealth Rocks are ground and rock, meaning they're not going to do that much damage to Starmie when it hits the field. And Toxic Spikes isn't really going to do anything to Starmie either, because it has to poison it the first turn. Meaning we could Rapid Spin, get rid of the Toxic Spikes next turn, and then turn after that, swap out, and thanks to our Natural Cure, we'll actually be able to heal that. There is a second way you could run this set, and I find this set to be really interesting. So, basically the idea behind this set is you're going to want to run Starmie with Porygon 2, that you're going to want to run Starmie with either Porygon 2 or something that can do massive amounts of trick rooming. So, if you don't know, Porygon 2, its main goal is that it sets up trick room, and because it's super tanky, because it's got the Evio light most of the time, and the high HP in the 90s in both defenses, meaning that it's going to be super tanky, so it can probably set up that trick room, and then swap out into something that will be able to use that trick room. Or it could use U-Turn, or wait, no, Porygon doesn't access the U-Turn, I don't think. But it could swap out into something that could use that Trick Room to its advantage, like, say, Metagross or Onyx, that it can basically use a Trick Room to its advantage, and thanks to the Porygon, it's going to be able to. Now, the reason I'm saying run Porygon 2 with Trick Room is because of Starmie's hidden ability. So if you don't know, Starmie's hidden ability is analytic, meaning if you move after your opponent, you're going to be getting a boost to your power. So, say you're running up against, oh, we'll be slower than a Starmie. Probably, Starmie's got a base 361, so I think a Haxorus would be slower, and a Garchomp. So, if you're running a Starmie up against a Haxorus or a Garchomp, then because of the Trick Room set up by the Porygon 2, then you're just going to be able to swap into Starmie, probably take their Earthquake or their Dragon Claw, and then just hit them with an Ice Beam next turn. So, really... You're going to be getting massive amounts of damage because of both the analytic boost, the life orb boost, and just the massive special attack and speed. So, like I said, that's a good strategy for analytic. It's a very, very good strategy for analytic. And it's actually a good way to make use of an ability that would be otherwise pointless. Moving into the tankier sets of Starmie, we see we've got Starmie with Leftovers and Natural Cure once again. We've got the Substitute, Confuse Ray, Recover, and Scald with the maxed out HP and special defense, with the calm nature, yeah, calm nature. And then we also have another set that's very similar, that is the leftovers with cosmic power, recover, scald, and ice beam, with the maxed out HP and special defense with, once again, the calm nature. Now, the idea behind both these sets is they run like a Milotic. That Milotic is basically a tanky water type, that's setting up while it's on the field, and basically just waiting for you to do damage to it, healing up all that damage, getting recover and healing even more damage, throwing out a status onto you, and just basically shutting you down until it's ready to use Skull. And that's basically how these Starmies trend to run. So, with this Skarmie, Skarmie, Starmie, we've got the Substitute to give us that kind of protection, that, okay, we don't really want to take a hit from our opponent, so we're going to Substitute, we're going to last maybe one turn, we're going to get off a Confuse Ray, and we might potentially be able to be safe next turn, so we could set up another Substitute. They might not hit us. 
go for a recover, they might still not hit us, or they might take out the substitute, and then we just go for Scald. And Scald works exponential amounts of good on this set, because it's got that burn. And burn will actually cut your opponent's attack down if it manages to actually happen, meaning Stormy's going to be getting that extra tank in its defense without you even having to invest anything. And then with this set, it runs more similar to a setup Stormy, that basically we've got Cosmic Power to kind of boost our defense and special defense, so we're getting a bit tankier. Then we got Recover to kind of heal up after we're done setting up. And then we have Scald and Ice Beam just to ditch out the damage. And with this set, Again, we're running max out HP and special defense. So with both of these sets, you're going to kind of want to run in the special defense. Because with the current stuff you're running up against, you're going to want something to counter that. That with the stuff like Mega Sceptile, with the stuff like Mega Manectric, with the stuff like Tapu Coco, with the stuff like Ash Greninja and regular Greninja, you're going to want some investment in the special defense. But yes, both of these sets run very similar to Milotic and other sets that you kind of run on different Pokemon. That their basic concept is they're trying to set up and they're trying to get these free turns off to where they can actually get their stuff to actually get built up. And then they're going to start hitting you. And when they start hitting you, you don't really want to start taking it because then the Starmie's not going to take anything. Now if I had to pick a favorite out of these sets, I would probably say the Cosmic Power one. Just because it's giving you a bit of bulk. And with Confuse Ray being lowered, thanks to the lower on Confusion and the nerf on that, we really don't get as much off of it. Don't get me wrong, Confusion still does happen. I had one battle the other day where I confused a Guard Trump for four turns, thanks to an Outrage. And I actually just managed to get four turns of free setup off on my Glade, and I got four Sword Stances, and then next turn I just wrecked it with Drain Punch. So, Confuse Ray does still hold a candle to some of the other stats, but I personally prefer the Cosmic Power set over the Confuse Ray. And that's basically going to be it for how to use Starmie. Like I said, Starmie's got a lot of potential. Starmie can be used a multitude of ways, and those ways actually are very good. That Starmie isn't really that bad of a Pokemon to be running. If you want to run it, I would definitely say run it, especially if you're running a Gen 1 team. Because Starmie can even act as your Sweeper, or it can act as your Tanker, or it can act as your um, Field Setup Remover, that... With Rapid Spin, that we saw the second set had Rapid Spin, we could use Stormy, get rid of the stuff that we wouldn't really be able to get rid of with other Gen 1 Pokemon, because barely anything in Gen 1 has Rapid Spin other than Blastoise. And then we can just use Rapid Spin, free the field up, and then we can swap into something that Stormy could work well with, like uh, Chansey. That someone tries to send in a Thunderbolt on our Stormy after we get rid of their spikes, we say, okay, Stormy swap into Chansey, get rid of that, thank you. But yeah, Starmie's really a very impressive Pokemon. And honestly, I want to try out that Porygon Starmie set and see if I can get a sweep with it. Because I want to see if that'll actually happen. Regardless, I'm leaving this video here. If you guys have any suggestions you want to see me do videos on down in the comment, Let's try that again. I'm leaving this video here. If you guys have any Pokemon you want to see me do videos on in the future, let me know down in the comments. Thank God I was able to say that. I don't know how I messed up so bad the first time. Where was my brain going? Probably the chocolate bunny I ate earlier. Which, by the way, happy Easter to everybody. Sorry I forgot to say it in my Dragon Mania video, but I recorded that like a week ago, so I had no clue Easter was coming up. Regardless, I'm leaving this video here. If you guys liked it, you can slap the like button as always, and I'll see all you beautiful people in the next video.